Did you know wastewater? The city of Evans has prepared a series of whiteboard videos entitled Did You Know? Identifying important topics that will impact the future of Evans. In this video, we share information about Evans's wastewater treatment system. When we take a shower, do laundry, brush our teeth, or flush the toilet, we create wastewater. Wastewater flows into a pipe system that is separate from our stormwater and drinking water systems. Wastewater then goes through a filtering and treatment process so that the water can be safely put back into our local rivers and streams. Evans currently has two separate wastewater treatment facilities. The oldest one is known as the Evans Wastewater Treatment Facility. It is located in historic Evans and was built in the 1960s. The second treatment facility is the Hill and Park plant. It is located on the west side of Evans. It was built in the 1970s by private developers as a part of a nearby residential development. The city of Evans eventually took over ownership and operations of the Hill and Park Wastewater Treatment Facility in 2006. As Evans grew over the years, the wastewater treatment system was stretched and began reaching maximum capacity levels. Regulatory requirements also became more strict as time went by. As a result of these concerns, the City of Evans began looking at options for making changes to the wastewater treatment system. In September 2013, while Evans was in the midst of evaluating wastewater treatment options, the city endured heavy rains at historic levels and the Evans wastewater facility flooded. The flood caused serious damage to the Evans facility, highlighting the vulnerability of having a treatment facility within a 100-year floodplain. Until the floodwaters receded and temporary fixes could be made, for eight days many residents could not flush their toilets. This is something that we hope to never again experience in Evans. The Evans Utility Task Force, the Evans Water and Sewer Board, and the Evans City Council looked at several options to increase wastewater treatment capacity, address regulatory requirements, and to take wastewater treatment processes out of the 100-year floodplain. All three groups agreed that the best decision is to ultimately close down the Evans facility, consolidate all wastewater treatment at Hill and Park, and expand the Hill and Park facility capacity. Repairs will be made at the Evans facility so that it can continue to provide treatment services while the Hill and Park facility is being expanded. Once the Hill and Park facility is expanded to handle all of Evans's wastewater treatment needs, the Evans facility will be closed. Flows that originally went to the Evans facility will be pumped to the Hill and Park facility for treatment. This process will take three to four years and cost approximately $23 million. Water, wastewater, and stormwater systems are all a vital part of a healthy community. This video about wastewater is the second topic in a series of public information videos with the goal of increasing public knowledge of water and wastewater issues in the city of Evans. The ultimate goal of this public information campaign is to establish clear and consistent communication of the City of Evans' water philosophy and how that impacts day-to-day -day operations. The articles in this series are available for review at www.evanscolorado.gov under the heading of Did You Know? If you would like to comment on these articles, please address your emails to water at evanscolorado.gov.